This right here is going to save you a lot of time and effort, so don't miss out. Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to save custom presets for your VSTs in Studio One. Now, this is going to be super useful for you if you use the same types of settings on your VSTs again and again, so you don't have to constantly be resetting it up every time you open up your project. Now, another way to do this is to, of course, create a template, but you might have VSTs that you use once in a while that you don't want in your specific template. Now, I also have a video on how to save a template, so definitely check that out. And I'll have links to my templates in the description if you wanna grab one of those. But without further ado, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarteray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creators that don't wanna be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here guaranteed now my question of the day is what preset for what vst are you currently trying to save so for example if it's like a compression for vocals let me know down below and i think that'll be super super interesting but let's get straight into this because this is going to be a very very quick and easy video to complete okay so in order to save the presets that you've got first of all let's bring up our mixer by the way this is my spotify ready vocal mixing template link down below go to jcarteray.com forward slash vocal templates and when you go there you'll get this whole template as well as a pdf that walks through all the settings that i use but we'll talk more about that at the end of the video okay so let's just go into something like neutron e uh, neutron 3 real quick and as you can see this is the plugin in order to save this specific setup as a preset we'll just go to this thing here that looks like a piece of paper with some lines on it once we click that we can go to store preset here we can go to nectar 3 and we can say nectar 3 dsr because that's basically what this is doing right here so now if we go to the presets we'll see nectar 3 dsr now we could go to the presets in actually nectar free and you know obviously every third party preset will have its own way to save stuff so we could click this button to add our own preset there but what this does this button is it just creates a preset for your plugin but within studio one so we can also always open up studio one open the plugin in studio one and come to the preset over here even if your third party plugin does not give you the option to save presets basically so that's all beautiful now there's something else you might want to know about and that's to save your channel presets now something else you might want to use instead of just saving the preset of one specific vst you can actually save the entire fx chain so this is the fx chain that we've got from studio one for my vocals we can click this button right here you see this drop down menu and we can go to store effects chain and what this does is it basically allows you to just load up this effects chain on another channel so if i create another audio channel i can then go down here and select the effects chain as you can see we've got main vocal chain main vocal chain all that sort of stuff if i click that all the plugins from this chain and all the sends and all that sort of stuff will then be on the new chain and that's how that works i'm not gonna actually i can do this because i'm not gonna say oh no this is a project that i'm actually using so let's not mess that up let's not instead of doing that i'll just create a new channel to quickly show you how this is done so let's go add we'll add an audio track and then in the inserts we can click over here let's first make sure this is saved as our main vocal chain so i've just replaced my main vocal chain and now we can go to main vocal chain and this should load up the exact same effects as you can see it's loading everything didn't load the sends though which i expected it to load the sends but it does not in order to actually load the sends and have all that what you need to do is you need to actually basically just duplicate this 
vocal chain and i've already got a video on how to duplicate channels and copy channels to other channels so definitely go and check that video out and i'll show you how to get everything exactly the same i'm not going to do that in this video because that's not what this video is about but if you do want to get your vocals half mixed before you even get to the vocal stage and you want your vocals to be spotify ready i highly suggest you grab my spotify ready vocal mixing template link down below go to jcarterray.com forward slash vocal templates it will come with my template with everything set up so you don't need to basically do anything too heavy to get it to suit your voice except for like a little eq in and stuff but it also comes with my pdf that walks through all the settings that i use to to get this vocal strip set up so you can then apply that to your own plugins that you're using if you don't want to use the same plugins that i use although i do suggest you use the same plugins that i use because you'll get a specific sound but it can also work with the same plugins that you're using if you use my same settings so that's that hope this video has helped you out if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please let me know in the comment section down below and in the next video you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing i'll see you there peace out